Hey, today I wanted to talk about my cart and uh, the small improvements I'm making to uh, help make this a little bit more efficient on the top here. So this is how I normally have my cart set up. And let me just walk you through it real quick. So over here is I have got like a pen holder because I used to use uh, Sharpie markers a lot to write use on the, um, on the baggies. Now I use stickers to do that. So I don't really need a cup holder anymore. I've got all my bags here that I use to bag everything up. And it's up here on, at the top because I, you know, I do a lot of uh, bagging while I'm pulling orders. And then I've got six cups. Um, and these are the same cups I use when I'm parting out. Um, I just grab six, bring them over here, you know, place them, place them on either, either side of the easy, easy sorter tray. Um, so I count in here and then I'll dump them into either side. So this side is usually for new parts and this side is for used parts. So when I'm pulling, um, you know, my new and used parts are intermixed all over the place here. And so I'm looking at the uh, order details page to see which, you know, if the parts you used are new and then I put it in the appropriate side. Sometimes they get mixed up and, you know, customers email me and say hey you mixed something up and I'm like yes but rest assured it's it's the right part it's the right right condition I just put it in the wrong side so this is the way I've been doing it for kind of a year now maybe a year and a half and uh, I'm having some space issues right so this is not ideal with the cups here because I'll get caught on the lip when I'm coming up or coming down and it kind of kind of cumbersome I've always wanted to get those uh, square containers that you get in those uh, Stanley you know hand things the, the same ones pops use right and I looked into those I just I don't want to buy one of those Stanley things they're like I think they're thirty dollars you can don't quote me on that one but it seemed kind of pricey just to you know take the a few cups out of them and they only come in one color, so you have to buy another one to get a different color. So to me, that didn't seem right. I looked on eBay to see if I could just buy the cups, and those are ten dollars a piece. People were selling them for, so it was wasn't the the greatest. So what has changed? Somebody posted a link to. There was a discussion going on about how do you guys sort, and somebody posted a link to. Um, some product on Target. Um, with uh, Target's got a brand called Bright Room. Let me show you. So here's the product, and these are the cups that that well, what they were actually linking to were these. But then I went exploring and I saw that they had these cups, which are sort of what I want, right? Like they're square. Sort of like those Stanley uh, um, tool organizer things, and yeah, they're they're about the same size as the cups that I'm using over there. So the great thing about this is you can get a pack of four of these cups. Is this yeah, here's four. This is two dollars. Two dollars for four of these things, um, and they come in three different colors: white, gray, and there's gray it's more like a dark gray and lego colors and then a sand green now they didn't have any at the my target they didn't have any of the sand green color here um but they come in many different sizes so there's these cups uh there's these like medium trays here which are are pretty good then the larger trays and then i think they had like like half of this like a long long skinny tray so i thought these are excellent so i bought a whole bunch of these for like ten dollars i think i got all this and so i was thinking about okay i want i want the white ones to be the new and i want the gray ones to be the used and how am i going to put them on there i don't want to just like put them on there like on the like the cups right like just willy-nilly on, on top of the cart so i bought this this tray thinking okay I'll take uh, I'll take the cups and I'll put them on here maybe I can get four on there 
well. No, that doesn't happen. It it only fits three comfortably, four you have to push, and then it starts popping up. So, and the same with you know that's square, so it's same same all the way around. So that didn't really work. It doesn't work either because when you put this on here, it's so bulky. It just takes up the entire takes up the entire um, cart. Well, one of the sizes is this size here, and this works really well. Like it fits the other sizes perfectly inside of it. So here I've got like two of the medium sized trays inside one. Over here, I've got six cups inside one of these things. So this works really well. So I've, this is how I'm going to set this up. I'm gonna take these over here, get rid of all of this. Put these over here for now. Um, let's see. This is going off the top. We're going to put this down here. So this is now just... Uh, I've got this all set up for my bags. So I can just easily reach down and grab these. I don't really need access to this much anymore because I don't really write on my uh, cart while I'm pulling orders anymore. Um, one of these cups come in handy for holding my stickers. I got uh, quart size bags, gallon size bags. This will go over here. This will go here. This will go here. So now I've got a lot more room um, for doing things. What was the other thing? Oh yeah. And I need two more of these just to put over here. So one of these are will hold uh, dividers. So if I empty out a a drawer or a half a drawer and I put the drawer over here and needs to be consolidated later I can put the uh, divider here and then if I am packing up bags and one needs to be used actually I'm gonna put this over here so the gray ones are used the white ones are new um, this one's just for garbage I used to just put it right here on the on this uh, on the cart and it would get very messy so this is trying a way to keep the keep things organized so I'm going to pull an order right now and see how it works uh, we'll show you the results and here we are at the end of uh, pulling that order and this is what it looks like so this was kind of cool because I was I knew I had an order that was 99% new and then we had one part that was used so I was able to easily replace two of these with new cups and there we go yeah so be able to bag these up i wound up using both of these for uh for the new parts and just uh gonna make big bags out of these um i think this worked well it worked really well the the back of the cart uh had lots of space there this is uh drawers that are like you know half full that just need to be consolidated down and put fighters in empty drawers i have space there here's uh where the dividers went this used to sit here made an adjustment put it up here because i kept kept hitting it as i was uh coming up and then um i'll use this for garbage in a minute when i uh, pull that one sticker so yeah i think it works great let me know what you think of the cart and let me know what you think of these things talk to you later Thanks everyone for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to Ralph's Bricks YouTube channel by clicking our icon here. You can watch our last store vlog video by clicking here. You can watch the latest video that we've produced here. And don't forget, you can find us at ralphsbricks.com.